Hi everyone, welcome back to this what the hack serverless hack video series. Each video we are walking through each challenge that is part of this serverless hack and we are now in challenge six. My name is Gwen, I'm your host for this video series and I'm a cloud developer advocate here at Microsoft. And let's dive right into this new video. So we're on challenge six, create functions in the portal. As a prereq, make sure you have challenge five done. There's a video on that as well. So just take a look at the playlist. Alrighty, so introduction says, create two new Azure functions written in Node.js using the Azure portal. These will be triggered by event grid and output to Azure Cosmos DB to save the results of the license plate processing done by the process image function. Alrighty, so now it tells us to navigate to the function app events. So let's close this here. I've got my portal open. Tool booth events is what I call that. And on the left side, we're gonna click functions and here is where we're actually going to create the functions. So the naming of these things can be a little difficult because you might think like, hey, I already created a function. I need to create another one. But the thing that we created called toll booth events and then toll booth app are function projects. And then your individual functions live within a project. So this is our function project, toll booth events. And then we have functions on the left side and here's where we're gonna create one. So it tells us to create a function that is triggered by event grid and it's called save plate data. So we're gonna hit create. And here's where we provide the name Developing portal is fine. And it tells us to use the trigger event grid. So let's search for event grid, awesome. And then we're gonna provide that name that it gave us. Whoops, I didn't copy it. Copy this here, go back here. Awesome, and then we'll hit create. And it tells us to replace the code with the following. So we're gonna go ahead and copy this here. Copy, awesome, head back in here. And it should take you straight to the function that you've created. And if not, you could always go back to toll booth, the, the functions project itself on the left side, hit functions, and then click on the name of the function that you just created. On the left side, we're gonna hit code and test. And this is essentially an inside of Azure portal code editor that we can use to edit our function. We're gonna erase everything that's in there and then just hit paste. Then we're gonna hit save. Awesome. And now it tells us to add an event grid subscription. And it looks like this should be an event subscription name, save, and point leave as is. Okay, I believe this would be an event grid subscription to the function itself. So we're gonna close this here. And then on the left side here, we're gonna hit events. And then we're gonna hit plus sign here. And it tells us we're gonna name it save. So we're gonna name, save, and Topic type, event grid topics, topic type. Oh, no, this might actually be in, you know what? Actually, this is in the topic itself. So let's go back to, let's close this. And we'll go to overview and we'll go to what the hack. Oftentimes when you're working with event grid topics, you need to make sure you're creating it in the right place. And then we're gonna go to in subscriptions and such. So we're gonna go to the what the hack topic and then here's where we're gonna create the subscription, yes. Okay, so. We've read the name in the schema and it says event grid topics is the topic type, correct? And then it says resource, your recently created event grid and event type is going to be event type. Paste that in there, you hit enter. And here it tells us the endpoint leave as is, but the endpoint is actually going to be our Azure function. I'll make sure to update that in the markdown, but it's going to be that function that we just created which would be toll booth events and then save plate data. Remember the subscription is gonna be save and then we're gonna make sure that the endpoint is save plate data, hit confirm selection. And then we'll hit create. And it tells us now to add a Cosmos DB output to the function. And we make sure we're using the database name license plate and the collection name processed. So let's go back to the resource group. Let's go back to the actual function that we need to work with, toll booth events. On the left side, we are going to select functions and we're gonna select that save plate data function that we created and then integration. It tells us to add Cosmos DB output. Okay, output. 
We're going to hit plus on here. And then we're going to select Cosmos DB. And we don't have any existing connections, so we're going to hit new. I'm going to scroll down and make sure we select the Cosmos DB account that we used earlier with the hack Cosmos. Perfect. The document parameter name, that can stay as output document, but we need to make sure we're referencing the correct database and correct collection. So the database is license plates. We're going to put that in there. And then the collection name is processed. And these all correspond to resources that we've created before. And everything else we can essentially leave as is. We'll hit OK there. Perfect. Now we need to create another function that is triggered by event grid. Perfect. So we'll copy this name here, and we're going to follow that same process. Back to tool booth events, the inside of the functions. Click function, and then hit create. And again, we need to make sure it is triggered by event grid. Let's give it a second to populate all the templates that we have. Event grid trigger and paste in that name as well. Hit create. And we have code here. I'm not much of a JavaScript developer myself here, but essentially this is going to get triggered by an event grid event and then make some updates to Cosmos DB. Alrighty, on the left side code and test, we're gonna follow that same process and making sure we just replace the correct code. I'm gonna copy it once more, paste that in, and then we're gonna hit save. Now it tells us to follow that same process to create, to create an event grid subscription, but this time we're gonna create one called Q. So now we'll go back into the resource, head down into event grid topic, awesome, and then create a new subscription. We're gonna call this Q. Follow the same process, and we need to event type Q plate for manual checkup. And we will type that in there. And the difference here is the endpoint type is still going to be a function, but it's going to be that different function. It's told booth events, and it's going to be the Q Q4 manual checkup. Remember? It's that second app that we created. Then we'll hit create. Second function. Uh, apologies, I used the wrong naming there. Uh, awesome. And now it tells us again to add a Cosmos DB output binding. So let's go back to the function itself and hit function once more. And then we're going to go to Q plate for manual checkup because this is the one that we need to add the Cosmos DB output binding. We already added it for the other one. And for this, we need to select the connection that was created earlier. So let's let this load. And we're still going to use the database license plate, but the collection here we're going to use is needs manual review. Awesome. And we'll hit output. We'll add an output here. And it looks like it's taking its sweet time, Cosmos DB. Document parameter name is fine. Remember, we're just utilizing that connection that we already used before. Document parameter name is fine. The database, remember, is license plate. I'm going to paste this in because I already have it. Copied. There we go. All right. Database name, license plate, same as before, but the collection is different because we're working with a different collection. We're going to hit OK. Awesome. So success criteria for this challenge is both functions do not have any compilation errors. Both functions have a grid subscriptions, and both functions have Cosmos DB as their outputs. Awesome. So if we go to code and test, and then we should be able to run each function from within the portal. So if I hit test and run, and then I hit run, it provides us some sort of dummy body information. We got a 202 accepted, so no compilation errors there. And then we'll go to safe plate data, code and test once more, and then we're also going to try and run this one and see if we get any errors or code. We'll hit test and run, then we'll, we'll hit run, and we'll see what we get as a response. 202 accepted. Awesome. So. We've met this success criteria. We've created both event grid subscriptions and both functions have Cosmos DB as their outputs. Awesome. All right, so with this, we're all set with challenge six and we're ready to move on challenge seven. Every link that I've mentioned will be in the description and additional resources if you need more context or more documentation that I think will be helpful will also be in the description. That's it for this video and I will see you in the next one.